Hi everyone, I wish you is fine. Today we are gonna start with the first unit of your new Hello book. As you can see the title on the screen, the first unit's title is My Family and Me. And when you listen to the word family, of course, you are thinking about the most people who care about you and the most people want you to be the best one in the world. And to start talking about the family, we should start with the family members. In this slide, you can see some words of your family members. Some of them are male and other of them are female. So we can say that the opposite of the word male is female. And to start with your family, we can start with your great-grandfather. And the female word is great-grandmother. So what does it mean? Great-grandmother is the mother of your grandmother. Again, great-grandmother is the mother of your grandmother. And by the way, here, in this picture you can see that this is like me father and mother and there are my grandfather and grandmother and by the way the father of my grandfather is great grandfather and the mother of my grandmother is great grandmother like this picture after that the son of my grandfather is my grandfather and the son of my grandfather is my father or my dad and after that we can say that my father may have a son or a daughter so my father's son is my brother and my mother's daughter is my sister and then we can meet in your family your uncle and you can meet your aunt and by the way we can say that your uncle is your father's brother or your mother's brother and aunt is your father's sister or your mother's sister your uncle's son is your cousin and your aunt's daughter is your cousin so the word cousin it can be used as a male and female and here we have the last word in your family we have this word great grandchildren from this meaning can you guess what does it mean great grandchildren can you open your dictionary and try to search for it after searching in your dictionary, you will find that great-grandchildren is the children of your grandchildren. And you can search this word online or in your dictionary. And these are the main words in lesson one. And then we can go to the reading part in lesson one in your student book. You can find this page in your student book and we will have the reading part here with a boy which is uh, called Ali and he will talk about his family and after reading you can write the names of the people from 1 to 10. Here we will start reading about Ali's family. Hello, my name is Ali. I'm 13. This is a picture of my family. My mom's name is Amira. She's a teacher. Next to her is my dad. His name is Aydin. He's a teacher too. Both my parents are teachers at my school. He's a lucky boy. They have one daughter. She's my sister, Lamia, and she's nine years old. And they have two sons, me and my brother Khaled, he's 11. Our grandmother is 64 and she's called Huda. She's my mom's mother. My mom's father is our grandfather. 
He's called Omar. He's 65. Their daughter is called Judy. She's my mom's sister. And she's my aunt. My uncle's called Marwan. He is a doctor. Their son is called Tariq. And he's my cousin. It's his birthday today. He's three years old. So after reading about Ali's family, you can guess the names of each number of the picture. Try to guess. And you can think about some of these um, expressions you can find in this reading part. Here you can focus on this expression. This is a picture of my family, a picture of my family. You may be asked in your exam about this part, a picture of my family. And we can say that here, um, after reading, you can think about the subject pronouns like she. And of course, you can complete this. So she, he, we, they, I, all of these are called subject pronouns. And what about the object pronouns? Me, him, them, you. So all of these are kinds of object pronouns, objective pronouns. And the last one is possessive adjectives. So if you are talking about something belong to you, you can use the possessive adjectives to talk about it. Like the word her, my, his, our, their, and all of these are examples of the possessive adjectives. And we can go to talk about this um, expression, like my uncle is called Marawan. By the way, if you said my uncle called without apostrophe S or without verb to be is, the meaning is different. So if you want to talk about the name of someone or the name of something, you can use verb to be plus called. Call in the past participle um, form of that. So my uncle is called. So you will use verb to be and is are plus called plus ed. So it will be my uncle's called. And after that, after reading, we can go to this part. We will talk about the possessive adjectives. We said that it's like my, her, his, their, our, and all of these possessive adjectives. We can use them to show something belongs to somebody. The possessive adjective goes before the noun. So in this example, it's my pen. So pen here is the noun. I can use the possessive adjective before the noun. But I can express about the pen which belongs to me by this. I can say, this pen is mine. Example number two, I can say they are her bags. And I can say, these bags are hers. So sometimes you will find the possessive adjectives before the noun, and sometimes you will find the possessive adjectives after the noun, like this sentence, these bags are hers. And to practice about what we said right now, we can answer these examples. Choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Which house is... So, which one of these options you can use after the, ho after the house, after the noun right here? Can I say which house is your? Of course not. Because your comes before the noun. So, I can say which house is yours number two the tennis racket is my sister's but the football is of course you are seeing the right answer mine because mine is the right option we can use mine after the noun 
Number three, space book is that. How can I ask using this uh, question? Can I say who book? Of course not. Can I say who's right? Who apostrophe s? Of course not. It will be whose. And this is when I want to ask about something belong to somebody. Number four, this pen is space brother Amir's. The books are his too. So this pen is my brother's, my brother Amir's. So here I'm talking about um, brother, so he's my brother. And number five, let's read unit one, my family and, do you remember the title? Yeah, my family and me. Yes, great. And after that, we can go to lesson two. And we will talk about, we will have a reading part of lesson two, and we will extract some vocabulary after reading. And here, by the way, in this reading part, we have an interview with twin brothers. Twin brothers. Can you see the picture? Can you guess what does it mean, twin or twins? Yeah, so we can say that the word twin means two children born at the same time to the same mother. And sometimes you can find that there is no difference in their faces. And here we will start to read the interview with the twin brothers, Hazim and Haitim. Meet Hazim and Haitim. They are brothers and they are both aged 12. They have the same parents and the same birthday, they are twins. So, did you understand what does it mean, twins? By the way, we have here something important. You will focus about this part. They are both aged 12. Can you see this expression? Yeah. They are both aged 12. So I can say they are 12 years old. Of course, it's right. And I can express this sentence by this way. I can say they are both aged 12. You may find this question in your exam. This is an expression that we can use to talk about our age or someone's age. I can say he is 12 years old and I can say he is aged 12. So I can use verb to be, M is R, and after that I will use the word age plus D, so it will be they are aged 12. Focus on the, this expression. And here we are ready to find some information about Hazem and Haitum. What are your hobbies? I like sports. I play basketball on Mondays and Wednesdays. I go swimming on Tuesdays. And I play football on Saturdays. And he watches football matches on TV on Saturday evenings. He loves football. I love football. I, I don't like football, but I like music. I play the drums and I listen to music. He plays the drums in a band. Do you have any hobbies that you both like? We play chess together. On Saturdays, Hatim usually wins. Yeah, that's true. And on Saturday afternoons, we do voluntary work. What kind of voluntary work? We help in the children's hospital. We play games with the children. We read them stories. It's great. I'll ask you a question. Can you guess when Hazem and Haitim go to the children's hospital and they help them and play games with them? Can you guess that they are paid money after that work or they are doing that for no money, just for help? Yeah, I can be sure that you said the right answer. Of course, Haizam and Haitim, when they go to the children's hospital, they are doing that work and playing with the children for no money. They want them just to
to be happy and they want to help them and to make them happier while they are sick. So they are doing voluntary work. What does it mean? So voluntary work is the work which is done by people who choose to do it for no money and just for help. So they are doing that work just for help and with no money. And if they are doing voluntary work, that means that Hazim and Haitim are volunteers. So volunteer is the person who does a job for no money. So this is the noun. And this is the person who does the voluntary work. And by the way, we have here the word band. We can say that the band is a group of musicians who play music together. And can I ask you a question? Who is your favorite band? And by the way, while reading the interview with the twin brothers, Haizam and Haitim, did you ask yourself about your hoppers? What are your hoppers? Think about this question and try to find your hoppers and do them carefully. After lesson two, and that was the reading part, we can go to lesson three, which is grammar lesson present sample. And of course, we talked about present sample before. And by the way, we can remind you that we use present sample if you are talking about a habit or your routine, fact, a permanent situation or timetable. And the form of the present sample from this table, after looking at that table, try to think, is number one and two true or false? Here we can go to the statement or the sentence. I can say, I play football. He or she plays football. So that means that with I, we, you, they, we use the stem, the verb stem, and he, she, it. We can use the verb plus S, ES, or IES. How can I make it a negative? Of course, here I will find that this is the verb stem. I will use don't. I don't play football. But if I'm looking at that verb, I will find s. So I will remember to use does. So I will say he doesn't play football. And how can I make a question here? I play football. So of course, I will say, do you play football? And here he plays football. So how can I make a question? If I find that the verb is ending with S, I will say, does he play football? So let's ask you about number one and two. We add S or ES to a verb with we and they. Is it right? Look at here. They play football. Can I say they play football? Of course not. So here the first one is false. Number two, we can start a question with do or does. Look at this part. Do you play football? Does she play football? So can you start the question with do or does? Of course you can. This sentence is right. And here we can go to the last part of the session correct the underlined words. Number one, I play the drums. Mm, of course, it's wrong. And the right answer is, I play the drums. Number two, I doesn't listen to music. Can you say I doesn't? Of course, it's wrong. I don't listen to music. Yes, great. Do he play football on Mondays? Do he? Of course, it's wrong. And the right answer is does. She don't go swimming. Of course, it's wrong. And the right answer is she doesn't. Yes, great. And the last one. Does you play chess? Look at here. Do you play football? So, of course, I can use 
do with you and I can say does youth so the right answer is do and after talking about the present sample and the form and how to make a negative and questions and after we um, answered some question about the present sample and after we read the reading part of lesson one and two and we extracted some new vocabulary using the reading part I can say that this session is finished right now and I wish everything is clear for you next time wait for me and of course I'm waiting for you